Yes, you read the title correctly. I'm going to be re <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing two different types of goggles. So for simplicity's sake, I'm going to be calling this one the Silver Surfer and this one Nosy Joe. Heads up, this is kind of just a filler video. I'm the current project I'm working on is taking way longer than I expected, and I'm almost done, so watch out for that. But yeah, so let's just get into it. So for this review specifically, I'm going to be doing the pros and cons of each goggles, and I won't keep score, I'll just give my final opinion in the end. Let's start with the Silver Surfer first, and before we get into like the actual usage of the goggles, we should count how cool it looks, because I mean, it looks flippin' dope as heck. Like, you look like Iron Man if he was silver. It's ridiculous. But anyways, let's talk about if the goggle is actually useful or not. So the goggle has two little thingies that are on the right and left strap that can make it looser or tighter. And to be honest, they just work like regular goggles. Nothing too special here. So since there's not that much to say, we'll move on to Nosy Joe. And the reason I call him that is because it has a thing where you can place your nose in so you don't have to blow out with your nose. This is great for if you're the type of person who holds their nose a lot. These goggles, you don't have to. These goggles are also very suction-y and have very big places to put your eyes in. So when you're swimming around, you don't randomly get water in your eyes. The straps are basically the same for both, except Nosy Joe has two little strap thingies, so it doesn't flip over and make you uncomfortable. These goggles also have very clear lenses, so when you're underwater, you can see from very far away, and it's really clear. And that's it for the pro section. Now it's time for the cons. The first problem with the Silver Surfer is that it has a dark tint in its lenses. So whenever you're wearing them for long periods of time, once you take them off, you have to adjust your eyes to the sunlight, which is very annoying. I know most goggles have these different colored tints to either make them look cooler or be gender specific, but my point still stands. It also doesn't have that nose thingy that Nosy Joe has, so you have to blow out a lot, which doesn't bother me, but I thought I'd mention it. Now on to Nosy Joe. You know that nose thing I was talking about earlier and how good it was? Well, it can also have its drawbacks. Since the goggle makes it so you can't breathe through your nose, whenever you're wearing the goggles and you're not in the water, it makes it very hard to breathe. It also doesn't look as cool as the Silver Surfer. Like, when you're wearing the Silver Surfer, you feel the essence of Quicksilver. But when you're, when you're wearing Nosy Joe, you feel the essence of Patrick's sister. So yeah, that's basically it for the cons. Now I'm going to give my final opinion on the two goggles. The Silver Surfer is basically a slimmed down version of Nosy Joe. Not that many features, not that many pros, and not that many cons. If you want a pair of goggles that's cheap and gets the job done, the Silver Surfer is just for you. Now Nosy Joe has a lot going for it. It has a lot of good features and a lot of pros, but some of the cons can be a deal breaker for certain people. If you want goggles that are going to last you a long time and you don't mind paying 20 bucks, then these goggles are perfect. In my opinion, Nosy Joe is the clear winner, but I want to hear your opinion in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to lock your doors at night, or Patrick's evil sister will get you.